As you make your way comfortably down, give your body a chance to adjust and make the muscles comfortable so that the breath can really deeply flow in and out. Plus, we have a different intention that we connect with. So today, what I was thinking of coming here is the idea of stress release. So stress does a lot of really hard things for our body. The first thing is make our body tense. So in this class today, we'll be working through a lot of those chronically tense areas, like shoulders and back, some of those really good spots that need a little bit of attention. And we also take a moment here to just talk about what stress does for us. In very short bursts, stress can actually make us be much more productive than we would otherwise be. It's that fight or flight. It's like, we're going to save our life for sure. But when, press, when stress is just sitting constantly in the body, it can be really detrimental to our health. It can make it so that um, our digestion is slowed. Our metabolism is much slower. It can make it so that the insulin resistance is higher. So we're more likely to get diabetes. Just overall, it doesn't feel good mentally or emotionally to be in stress. And so as we work through some of those tense spots of our body today, let's just imagine we're helping to aid our body, help us to get past some of that stress, get to a much more comfortable spot for the rest of the day. So with that, to get us started, let's begin. The knees will come into the chest. Just take a couple of easy rocks left and right. I'm not sure if I heard somebody up front, so I'm just going to do a quick peek. We're good. So these first couple of moments, just feel how that low back is doing. That tends to be one of those spots that chronically hold our tension. As it starts to feel pretty good, let's let the knees rock over to the left. A nice, easy spinal twist. The arms spread open like that stretch first thing in the morning. Stretching away from one another. So feel the upper body expanding open. Feel that lower body releasing into the twist. And feel this easy, deep breath circulating through our body. Another deep cycle of breath in. That nice exhale, lift the knees up. Tilt it over to the second side. Keep the upper body just expanding open. And let the breath start to help us relax into the shape. Two more cycles, just feel that massage the breath is giving us. So then from here, as the spine returns onto the mat, let the bottoms of feet come together. The knees will start to stretch open. It's like a cobbler's pose with the legs open on the mat. From here, do a little tiny crunch, lifting up the upper back. Place the right hand at the base of the neck. And then as you lower down to the ground, you'll start to fill that right tricep, giving a chance to start stretching. If you want even more, 
Scoot your shoulders just a little bit off the left side. Feel how this is starting to get us into the side ribs, into the shoulder. We'll get even deeper in just a moment. Another good inhale. Exhale, do a little crunch through the center to switch hands. It's the left hand there. As we lower down, either go straight back or already you can scoot yourself off to the right just a little bit. Black tricep, the shoulder, the side ribs starting to open. Send some good breath to those areas. A nice inhale. Exhale. Do a little crunch to bring you right back to the center. Set your back down. And then we'll take some nice shoulder stretches. So the right straight arm comes all the way across the body. The left arm hooks around to pull it in. Set the right shoulder up in the perfect spot for that shoulder stretch. So maybe drop the, the shoulder down a little bit or do any sort of pivoting angles that get you to a really good spot. Arms spread open to left and right, like that good morning stretch, just super wide. And left arm comes across the body, right arm hooks to pull it in. Make sure the shoulder's at a good angle. Just explore with a couple of beautiful breaths. Deep inhale. Exhale. Spread back open. Good morning, stretch. And then let the legs start to uh, rise upward. Once the knees are up, the feet are about as wide as the mat. Let the knees take three windshield wipers. So we'll go left and then right. And then stay to the left side. When you stay there, the right leg's in internal rotation. Sometimes the knee right here is just fine. If everything's doing okay, want more, left ankle can rest on the right side. Only if that doesn't bug the knee. Which inhale. Exhale, release the ankle if you lifted it. Take three more windshields. Right. And left. Over to the right to stay. Option to take right and pull up. Beautiful inhale. Exhale to release the ankle. A few bonus windshield wipers, just helping the knees and the thighs feel really good. When that feels complete, slide the legs long, arms come up overhead. We're taking our banana stretch, so right ankle goes over the left ankle. Then scoot the legs to the left. Up above our head, grab to the right wrist, scoot it off to the left, so the huge banana. All the way, everything laterally leaning to left. You could be passive here. This is a good stretch just as is. You could also be active, starting to push against ankle and wrist connections. That would deepen the intensity, so it's up to you exactly where to go. <laughs> yeah. So one more good inhale for this half. 
Exhale, easy release, second side. Left ankle over, legs to right. Grab left wrist, scoot shoulders to the right. Take the same quality as before, whether it was active, pushing against, or passive, just being here. more inhale exhale release arms and legs are back through the midline pull the arms and legs away from one another another stretch like first thing in the morning and then as the hands come in by our hips slide the feet into plant taking a bridge pose we'll lift up the hips Rise up one vertebrae at a time and stay. Maybe a hand clasp under our back. Walking shoulders under if you can. Feel your body here reversing any hunched over position we tend to take through the heart and the torso. Feel it expanding, open, stretching, that front half of the body opening. One more good inhale. Exhale, release the hands, return the hips to the ground. Swing the knees open wide, grabbing onto the feet, happy baby. Sometimes here, just stillness is great. If you want to rock left and right, that would get us into low back. I personally love to rock all the way to one side and then let the opposite leg take a huge stretch up to the sky. And then switch, so it's up to you if you like that for a different quality. One more good breath, whatever you're doing. With that nice exhale, take the knees together. We'll rock up to cobbler so if you love rolling like a ball three or four times that could be a nice massage for the back if you just want to go directly up to cobbler that's fine this first one will be feet a bit further away from us than normal you're there let the torso start to hang heavy as the head drops down we're not only getting that stretch on the back of the neck but that weight of the head pulling down gets us to stretch all the way down the muscles of the spine, even to the low back. Let's fill it all release, nice and easy. So the left hand slides off to the side. Right hand slides up to the right knee. This right arm starts to straighten. As the nose makes its way over the left knee, you should feel the right half of the low back brought into a really good stretch. Keep breathing through that area. Get low through the center as we start to switch. Left hand to left knee. Start to straighten that left arm. We should be in the left low back. Beautiful inhale. Exhale, low through the center. A few bonus breaths, resetting the spine. Then starting to roll our way up. Pick up the knees. Our legs are joining together. We're setting up a good hug under the thighs. So this might be your fingers clasping your wrists or maybe your elbows. 
We're getting our torso right up to the thighs. So then as we start to walk one heel forward and then the next and then the next, this eases us down into that low back stretch, maybe even hamstring stretch. The idea is when you get to the spot where torso starts to separate from the thighs, that's where you pause, whether you're up high or almost at the ground. Good. Give it a couple of really beautiful breaths, right? Inhale. With our exhale, we definitely want to support our spine. Find the hands on the floor. Support the, the rise up. Good. And then pick up the knees, dragging the feet even closer into cobbler. You could leave fingers behind if you wish, or you could tilt forward your personal preference for cobbler. The spine starts to lift. We'll pick up the right knee, flip it to the left side, and then keep on twisting to the left. This will get a nice gentle twist to the low back area. Spiral your spine around as much as feels good. One more inhale. Exhale, ease forward. Lift your knees to the other side and twist. Inhale. Exhale. Return both swing bones down. The legs go nice and wide. Find the floor in front of you. And just like baby steps, one hand goes slightly forward. And then the next. And then that slow journey, keep on easing forward until you find a good, comfortable spot to pause. Turning the hands back in, bring the right hand or the right elbow to the inside of the right leg. The left shoulder pulls back and then reach it up and over. Rising up to switch sides, left hand down, right hand up and over. Good. Rising up. We'll take our legs underneath our body. We'll either be sitting in hero, or if that's a little intense on the knees right now, you can just come up to a higher spot. Up to you. Either way, the hands are going to come together, touching in prayer position. They're up right above us. With our exhales, we're going to bend the elbows, bring the hands to touch right to the back side of the head, and then inhale right back up. Follow that easy breath, exhale down, inhale up. Take another five breaths.
Last one. Exhale. Inhale. And then find the floor. Take it directly into a nice child pose. Walk the hands a little bit over to the right. A little bit over to the left. the center. Another breath in. And out. And then shift your way up onto hands and knees. Take a couple of cat cows, really letting the muscles of your back exaggerate both directions. Up as high as possible and then down. And just slow at the pace of your breath. Two more full cycles. Good. Trying to get all 10 toes to tuck under. We're going to go into a fascia stretch for the feet. So sometimes just sitting a little bit of weight back is about as intense as the feet can handle. If you know you can take more, you're welcome to rise more and more of your body weight up. Whatever spot we're at, we're going to try to take about three or four good slow breaths. Mm -hmm. Try to go one more deep inhale. Exhale. Coming forward, we can either roll the feet out or gently pound it. And then sitting back toward the feet, we sway our hands over to the right. This left hand picks up and we lift the hips up. And then sway to the left, plant the left front, and sweep up. So each side another three. Two. One. Beautiful. When you finish, puppy pose, hips back over the knees. Hands start to walk forward. The goal here is to try to get the heart as far down as possible. So sometimes it's the forehead resting. Sometimes people can do a chin flip. Don't worry about it if it's uncomfortable for the neck or the throat. But just continue to sink the heart down. Enjoy another good inhale. Exhale. Start walking the hands backwards until you're in a gentle child pose. And getting the hands to plant three times. We're going to try to shift forward with our heart as close to the ground as possible. Once the belly is down, lift up to cobra and back to child pose. 
Two more of those at your own pace. Heart as low to the ground as possible. One more. Enjoy a bonus breath in that child. And as we come back up to hands and knees, set the right toes at the back of the mat and press back into a right calf stretch as far as you need to push it back. Some people can do this with the second knee on the ground. Some people have to lift it up to push more. So it's up to you. Good. Drop down to switch out your legs. Left calf stretch. And when you're ready, you can shift this up to down dog. Any movements, wiggles that need to come out, go ahead and explore through those. This will be a down dog where we stay until our body tells us it's happy and it's ready to go up to the top of the mat. So sooner or later, we'll be in a nice forward fold, no rush. For the top of the mat, we pull both legs and that really good stretch together. Bending our knees, let's roll our spine up. Circle the arms up to the sky, take a slight back bend. Hands go down through the heart. Drop your hands to the thighs and bend forward at about a 90 degree angle. So pausing here for a moment. Feel yourself shooting the sitting, sitting bones back. That pulls the hamstrings into the stretch. Bending the knees, drop the torso down. Once your torso is heavy down again, you can choose maybe to reach straighten the legs, maybe not. Good. We'll repeat that sequence two more times. So bend the knees, roll your way up. Circle the arms to sky, little back bend. Hands to the heart. Down to the thighs. Pause at the 90 degree angle. Bend the knees, drop the torso down. Your choice, maybe reach straight the legs, maybe not. One more like that, then the knees roll up, circle the arms up, hands to heart, down to thighs, halfway leaning forward. Then the knees drop the torso down, maybe restrike the legs, maybe not. Bending the knees, roll up, circle arms up. And from here, drop the right hand to the right thigh, lean the left hand up and over. Rise up to switch. Knees rising back up. Let's circle the arms up to the sky. Clasping the hands behind the back. Bend the knees. Set the torso down onto the thighs. Pull the arms away from you. Shoulder stretch. If you want to restrain the legs, you can. You do not have to. One more inhale. 
Exhale, hands drop to the floor. Inhale, half foot. Exhale, hands drop back down. Right foot slides to the back of the mat. Left hand goes up to the sky in a twist. And the hand comes down, it comes to the inside of the front foot. So this is lizard, you could keep the back knee lifted or lowered. You could keep the elbows lifted or lowered, it's all up to you. Breath in and out. We'll transition toward an elbow flick. So those that are on elbows, you can just slide this foot back. If you need a couple of additional steps, that's okay. But we end up toward elbow flick. From elbow flick, walk the toes in as far as you can up to dolphin pose. And then walk back out to elbow flick. Let's do that transition four more times, up and down, keep breathing, three, two, last one. This time when we go to that plank, just drop the hips to the ground, sweet. Good. Heart gets pulled forward and through. The body alive. The moments with the dolphin, it's like a little bit of stress for our body. I feel how immediately we can use the breath to return back to Oh. Left hand swivels in, right hand can grab the right toes, pull it in for a nice quad stretch. Release. Second side. Release. As we plant our hands underneath us, you choose where to go next. Maybe you'd like a child pose. Maybe you'd like to go straight up to down top. If anybody wants a flow or two, you're welcome to take that sequence as well. Going to do the chaturanga, cobra, up to down top. Good. So when you're satisfied, let's make our way up to the top of the mat. Use your next inhale to rise. Right hand to the right thigh. Left hand up and over. Switch. Back up, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Whether fingers are on the floor or on our legs, Walk as far over to the right as you can easily reach. And over to the left. Back through the center. A full breath in. Doubt. 
Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands down. Slide the left foot back. Twisting right hand up to sky. Hand lowers to the inside of the front foot. You choose what version of lizard. Back knee up or down. Elbows up or down. Another transition toward dolphin. If you're on elbows, just swing the front leg back and walk in. If you need a few extra steps, take your time. Eventually hips up high, but we're down on elbows. So for this one, either stay up in dolphin, just breathing as many breaths as you have that steady slow without the, the breath catching essentially. Or if you want harder, one leg lifts up and down. Second leg lifts up and down. Your choice entirely. Keep going until you feel ready for your child pose sooner or later. It's a moment with just a little touch of a stressor for our body. You're doing good, you're doing good, you're good, you're good. You're good. It's up to you. <laughs> You're doing so awesome. <laughs> so whenever you're in child, just feel that heart. No rush if you're still heading in it good. Feel that heart beating alive. Without stress, we'd be a, a couch potato. We would literally get nothing done. So that stress is it's probably a good thing occasionally. It's just when we live in that constant stress, that's when it's a problem. Help yourself here. Learn how to return back to that calm, slow breath as quickly as possible. You can choose to stay here a bit longer. You could go up to down dog at any point. You could take a flow. So just kind of starting to transition at your own pace, whatever that is. So it's similar to before. Take your time to transition until eventually you're ready to make it to the top of the mat. Making it to the top if you're not there already. Take one more breath in. Out. Inhale, rise. Hands to the heart. And then hands down to the thighs, sitting back like a supported chair. Here we're gonna do a couple of lion's breath. Imagine with your inhale, you're grabbing any type of stress that's been in your life lately. With your exhale, <laughs> I love that smile. I can't wait to stress a lot. Me too, right guys, trust me. So yeah, your inhale is hunched up like that. Just curling it all in. Exhale, heart goes through, stick out the tongue, let it go. Good, so let's take five of those. Two more. Last one, imagine letting it all go. Beautiful. 
<laughs> so back up to stand. Easy circle of the hands up. Hands out of the heart. Balance with the right knee floating. Sometimes this is enough just to stay here. Sometimes I like to add the twist. A hand to the thigh, the other hand behind. Good, returning forward. Warrior three, balance back behind. When we land, we're crossing the right leg off the left side of the mat. So significant cross off the other. Good, hands up above head, grab the right wrist and pull it leaning to the left. So it's like that banana stretch, but standing. Good, as we release, we're going to reset that right foot into warrior two. Good. Extended side angle, front elbow on the thigh or wrist to the floor, the other arm stretches forward. And up to warrior two. Reverse it, the left hand up, maybe back. Front knee still bent. Good, warrior two. And then turn the toes open to this long edge of the mat, hands come to the inner thighs, pressing open as we lean forward, like a frog press. Straighten the legs up, shift back to warrior two. Shorten stance, face forward, warrior one. Warrior three. And then up to tree. That right foot coming immediately up to calf, thigh. Good. And right foot down. Second side, step up to sky. Hands to heart, Pull the left knee. Your choice if you're adding the twist. Forward, warrior three. Land, crossing off to the right side of the mat. Reach up, grab the left wrist, pull that left wrist to the right. You release, open up to warrior two. Yeah, that's really good. Extended side angle. Warrior two. Reverse. Warrior two. This time turn the toes to the long edge and just take that nice wide angle forward fold. Your choice of hand positions, choose one that feels awesome for your body right now. Knees, roll our way up. Front toes turn forward, warrior two. Face forward to warrior one. Warrior three. Up to tree. One more good breath in. Out, release the foot, Pull another easy circle up to the sky, exhale forward fold. Passing the hands together, take your fingers to the base of the neck, pulling the skull into a little bit of a neck stretch. 
It also gets us right to that spot in between shoulder blades. And dropping hands down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Stepping back to plank. Take one, slow together, lowering heart down. A little bit of a back bend. Downward facing dog. And right leg reaches there up to sky. Maybe bend the knee for a moment, sending the toes a little bit behind your back. Left foot opening. Good leg back up straight. And when the knee comes under the body, it's in pigeon pose. Scoot the back knee back. Make sure sacrum is level. You choose. Some days it's nice to pause here in the back bend. Some days I just want to go directly into sleeping pigeon, so it's up to you. Another good breath in and out. Planting hands. Up the back toes. Lift it up immediately to down dog. And add any wiggles that you need for a moment. A bit of recovery. And when you feel ready for second side, left leg starts to float. Maybe bend the knee, sending the toes just a little bit behind you. Like back up. And under and through to the page. And stay higher back bend. You can drop down. More breath flowing through our body. And then plant the hands, downward facing dog. Moment with recovery. Lowering to knees. Right hand reaches up to the sky. And spread that right arm to the ground. Left can wind around the back or scoot up to the top of the mat, your choice. Return left hand in, press into it. Right away, left hand up to the sky. Thread it through. Maybe this right hand wraps, or maybe it extends forward. Return the hand, press up, little cat. Now. And coming down to sit. And then prayer position up high. Let's do five more breaths. Take an inhale prep. Exhale, bend down. Four. Three. Two. One, clasp the hands behind the head. Gently pull the head into a nice neck stretch. Mm 
As hands release, take the right shin in front and then walk your hands forward as far as you can reach. Walking back in, left shin in front. Walking back in. If there's any other little stretches your body needs, you're welcome to take any of those last things. Just kind of scanning through the body, shifting in those last beautiful stretches. At any point when your body is happy, ready to release, you're welcome to find your way down towards Shavasana. For some of us, it'll be sooner, some of us later. No rush to get your way there. Still zero rush to be in Shavasana. When you are there, if this image is useful, you're welcome to take it. Sometimes I think of stress as darkness. So if that is an image that works for you, just imagine with every inhale we take, we're breathing in light. The light's swirling around until it finds that stress, that darkness in our body. It picks it up, and then with our exhale, we Breathe that stress, that anxiety right out of our system. Inhaling light, exhaling out that darkness. Just letting this breath be the, the ruler for the next few minutes. It's all we need to focus on.
here we'll begin to deepen our inhales. Our exhales. Introducing little movements back to fingers and toes. Ankles and wrists. Stretching it out like we're waking up first thing in the morning. Taking a nice fetal position off to one side when you're ready. Take a few bonus breaths until you feel ready to rest. So maybe three or four good relaxing cycles. As we come up, we'll join our hands together in front of our hearts. Reconnect to that idea of releasing our stress, helping our body know that a taste of stress here and there can do us good. But when we chronically live in it, that can be detr detrimental to our health and to our well being. So as our body feels this comfort, this release from stress all over, that just feels happy, we recognize we can return to this, this type of stress relief, this calmness of mind, whenever we choose to say yes to it. So a stress release to lead us on, let's wrap up the time we got to share together today with the sound of home. Oh, deep inhale now. Oh. May we be filled with light, happiness, and peace. Namaste. Mm.